Hello guys and welcome to Smoke Photoshop Action Tutorial. So first thing I'm gonna do is show you some examples of results of this action. So here's some of the examples that you will get. I mean results that you will get from this action when it's completed. So, um, first thing you will need to do is, in, in order to make this action work, is you need an uh, English version of Photoshop uh, in order for action to work. So, to check that or change language, go to Edit, Preferences, and Interface, and check this here that is set to English. Click OK, uh, go to image mode, RGB color, I mean check RGB color and 8 bits channel. Next thing, select brush and make sure it's set to 100% opacity and flow also to 100%. Uh, next thing, go to layers here and click on this box here and then click on panel options and make sure this is checked here um, after that uh, uh, I, will, I will not note that you you have to use uh, high quality pictures with greater pixel size so if you have some uh, smaller pictures just go to image image size and adjust the pixels I mean width and height and if you have small pictures just increase it and action will actual action will have better results on greater pictures so after that go select brush and go to this box here and click load brushes so we're going to load action brushes so go to your um, action action uh, folder that you extracted and click on smoke action brushes click load after that go to window actions and when the action tab pops out just click on this box here Click load actions and also go to uh, your action folder and click on smoke ATM file. As you can see, it's ATM file here. So click load and action will pop up here. So just open it, open one, open twice, and let me just close it for now. And next thing. Uh, also to mention you need to, to check is that your picture is loaded like this with this lock here on this side and if it's like this with uh, it's uh, set up like a layer just go to layer new and background from layer so that's it um, next thing we need to is to create um, New layer and image brush with no caps, just like this. And this is very important uh, for action to work. So after you've done that, um, just fully select your model. And I recommend using um, uh, I recommend using a quick selection tool here and just select on background layer and start selecting your model just like this and if you have to uh, delete some gaps in your model just hold down left alt key and brush it so after you've done selecting your um, model uh, you will need to fill it in so click on brush layer and, and if you 
if you have a black color set to background color you just um, hold down left control and press delete and as you can see we missed this part here so just select it again by clicking on background layer click on brush again and fill it in and also this hand here um, and that's it so after you um, fill out your brush I mean model uh, make a new layer and name it brush 2 just like this with this um, space here so uh, select brush again and this time you will need to brush on the area where you want smoke to appear so I'm just gonna choose red color or whatever color you want and brush on the area where you want your smoke to appear you can hide this brush brush layer one so you can see where you want your smoke so I will brush this arm maybe like this um, brush his helmet maybe um, maybe a little bit of arm on this side uh, maybe his gun it maybe a little bit of leg and foot and after you're done brushing uh, open your action tab here it doesn't matter if it's hidden these brush layers you can hit, hit them hide them uh, as you like so now everything is set up and just click play and wait for action to finish so action is finished as you can see it has some pretty nice effect to it so let me just close this here um, now I'm going to explain uh, what every folder d does so first folder here is main adjustments they're just contrast increasing contrast and some other adjustments for the picture to be better um, next layer is smoke layers in front and when you open it it has a lot of folder just hold down left alt key and press on this arrow also here to quickly cl close everything down now open it and as you can see it has three smoke layers and I will hide and show uh, every one of them separately so you can see uh, where where it appears so as you can see this one you can increase opacity of it or you can decrease it's uh, set to 30% by default then you can change it uh, smoke, smoke number 2 is here so you can see this is the third one this is the second one and this is the first one second one is set to 50% opacity and also the first one you can um, change color of it as you can see make it blue, make it black, red, green whatever color you want and also uh, I think it looks good green so I would leave it on this one you can also change the second one as you can see we can set it to the blue maybe and the last one also we can set the blue or greenish turkey 
turkeys um, that's pretty much it for that um, and the next folder is model and model elements and you have a uh, model smoke as you can see you have a uh, model smoke but a little bit blurry and you have model without smoke part as you can see and you can brush out uh, this model uh, I mean this smoke and model you can select brush and select one of the action brushes so maybe this one and select black color as a foreground color and just brush it out as you can see brush it out more as you like and also you can brush out uh, every prop part of model also you can brush these uh, model smoke separately and you can add just um, as you can see and if you select white foreground color you will add add a part as you can see it becomes visible I mean model becomes visible again so you can decrease size of brush and maybe brush out areas to make it more like fade in a way increase uh, size maybe and it'll be like this as you can see and the background is automatically I mean the model is automatically cut out of the background and the background as you can see uh, it's ju it just like the model is put on with a background fully um, with a full background and uh, that's what I meant uh, and that's it you can play around with it also if you don't like this uh, model smoke you can turn off this I mean turn off these first two and just fill fill out the, the layer mask of it with a with a white color as you can see it's white is background color so just hold down control, left control plus delete and also this one if you brush it out and you will have a full model and just turn on this uh, small clears but um, it's way cool you can make pictures like this or you can turn on these small clears too and make more more awesome pictures and last folder is background elements which you can turn on the background color which you can um, which you can uh, change also background gradient you can change as you, as you can see and that's pretty much it and you can turn off background without model that's it for this tutorial folks um, hope you like it go to graphic river download this section you have a link in the description support my work follow me on graphic river and check out the other actions and other stuff on my portfolio also another uh, action tutorials on my on this channel and See you guys in the next tutorial and the next section. Thanks for watching.